Hey guys, just to give you a perspective on this, it's about 6.30 p.m. on Sunday evening and I'm filming this video. I just got back in because it was raining super hard and now my hair is frizzy. So here I am creating your video. You already know why you're sitting here listening to this video. It's going to summarize the good times, the bad times, the fun times, and give you a special thank you and a goodbye to each of you. I know you don't really like listening to me, especially when I'm teaching, but if you would, just devote the next 15 to 20 minutes to let me tell you your goodbyes. Whenever I first got this group, I had a great first impression. I had a group of students who were willing to listen to me and let me guide them. Throughout this time, you've seen me at my best and even at my worst, especially on the first day of school when I found out that my dad had to be airlifted to St. Louis. Although you guys struggle with maturity, you are part of what kept me sane each day. I know that I've told you at the end of each day, it's like a breath of fresh air whenever I get you all back into my room. And after having other students all day, you are my saving grace. Even on the days that you had to be farmed out, I was worried about who you were with and what you were doing. Something else that I can say about this class is that you genuinely had the best chemistry. Between all three of my classes, even if there was someone that you didn't like, most of the time I could trust anyone to work with anyone. I thought it was very powerful to be able to listen to a lot of you tell your personal life stories whenever we had circle time. I know we did lots of celebrations and get to know you during circles, but whenever the conversations got tough, we had a group that could trust one another and made a safe environment for everybody to be able to talk. And that's the chemistry that I was shooting for to hope that we could achieve that as a class. I will for ne never forget you guys, as you have played a tremendous role in my life, such as being one of the first classes with the that I had with the Cape Girardeau School District, being the class that I started my master's program with, and being the class that got to celebrate my engagement with me. All of these things were significant stepping stones in my life that I'll never forget, along with the students that I'll never forget. The skill that I've learned from this class is just to embrace not knowing. For example, there were a lot of times that I would get questions that I didn't know the answer to. You guys put me on the spot a lot, to, to be honest. However, it wasn't because I didn't want to share it with you, but because I genuinely had no idea. For a little while, this would bug me. But instead of letting that bug me, I would just, just flow with the uncertainty, and then I would let my day carry on. Of course, I would adjust my plans accordingly. Another thing that I learned is that not everyone is a competitor and that's okay. A lot of times I would want to have competitor competitions with you, but then they would turn quickly into knockdown dragouts that resulted in someone's feelings getting hurt. And that's one thing that I need to work on for sure is how to adapt to having a new group that maybe isn't full of competitors. So thank you for at least teaching me that. Although we've had some bad times, we've had plenty of good times too. For example, getting to play in the snow, Mr. Adams taking you out for an extra 45 minute recess, building gingerbread houses, doing an ELA scavenger hunt, and winning class of the month quite a few times. I'm undoubtedly going to miss watching Caroline and Ashton do cheers, talking softball with Lila, telling Tian and Jamas to sit down, watching Toby and Caitlin pick up my room at the end of each day, watching Marve throw the ball 100 miles an hour in tw a 20 foot space, listening to, t listening to Tyson talk about his dogs and the like, hearing Maya want to become a movie star, listening to Simone talk like Stitch, watching Malia talk about her YouTube channel, bonding with Nolan over Harry Potter, and watching Lex move quickly. We've all had some pretty straightforward days. Also, like our task cards, enjoying popsicles, doing the boring work, doing vocab, and a ton of achieve lessons. And just last week, I've come up with a top 10 that I got to enjoy the field trip with. So only my top 10 are able to actually speak on that one. However, the video is coming to an end. So anytime I feel like I could throw in a story about my life, I was able to do so with you guys. Throughout the year, I've got to learn so much about you guys. And so I'm going to say your name. And then as soon as I have your name drawn out of this hat, you're going to be the student that I'll talk about for the next minute. So... The first student I'm going to be talking about is going to be Toby Wade. Toby, or as sometimes I say, Tobias. How am I going to forget the kid that I spend the whole entire end of the day with? We get at least five minutes with just you and I. So of course, those five minutes start to add up at the end of the day. I'll never forget any of the conversations that we have just because we finally got to sit down one-on-one -on -one and talk. Something else I'm looking forward to watching you do is excelling in all the sports that you take on at the junior high. You've not only been a leader in my classroom, but throughout your other classes as well, and I know that you're going to carry that legacy on forward. 
I'm also never forgonna, never going to forget the kid that just kept betting me things. Yeah, I would lose. But also, yes, I would win. Anytime somebody wanted to cut me a deal, I would almost always take them up on that. So thank you, Toby, for being that brave leader that I have. I'm not going to forget you. And I still need your height to help me clean up my classroom. So thanks for being you. The next person I'm going to talk about is going to be Nolan Evans. Nolan, talk about a kid that has some personality. I mean, multiple ones at that, especially with some of the impressionists that I got to see you do. I definitely wish you would have pulled it off at the talent show, but I understand why you didn't want to. So I'll let it slide and it's okay. I'm going to miss talking about the fun things that you do each weekend and listening to you talk about St. Louis, how much you love going over there, hearing the history about your family tree, and just genuinely any crazy story in general, whatever it may be. I'm going to miss that the most about you. Sometimes I told you whenever I see your sister pop up on my accounts or when Aiden has videos of her, it makes me feel weird. So I hope I don't ever have to see those videos of you either. I'd rather just have that personal conversation with you. I've really enjoyed having you because you came into my classroom rather mature and with the brain out of this world. Watching you grow over 300 Lexile points was definitely a highlight for you, kiddo. So my advice to you is just to buckle down whenever you get to junior high and continue growing because you're not done yet. And again, you're one of the other tall ones, so I might need you here in the near future. So with that, Nolan, thanks for being you, especially from one Gryffindor to the next. My next thank you is going to be... Holden Locke. Holden, I don't know how I'm going to forget the first kid that ever broke a bone under my watch. Watching you run and fall and then seeing your crooked arm av with the aftermath and then finding out you have to go to the hospital to get it repaired was completely mind-blowing. So that's something that I will totally never forget. Holden, you had a wealth of knowledge as well. You just sometimes didn't know how to use it or didn't apply it. So my best advice to you is going on and moving forward to the seventh grade. Use the wealth of knowledge that you have. Don't let it go to waste because you have a bright brain and I don't want your knowledge to fall short of any opportunity that you get. With that, Holden, thank you for being amazing in my class. Another funny thing that I liked about you was checking out early and you checked out exactly one minute before the bell rang. So again, I guess that's technically early, but another way to make me smile. So thanks for being great, Holden. My next goodbye is going to be Isabella Newingham. <music> Isabella, you always remind me of my friend, Melanie. Melanie was always the tiniest girl and has a tiny body, just like yourself. But tiny doesn't always mean weak. She was tiny but mighty, and that is exactly how I visualize you. With you being a tiger lily and with you being voted most likely to become a soccer superstar, you have to have that mighty personality inside of you. And girls like that doesn't or don't take crap from anyone. So that's the exact thing that I can see with you. Whenever you get over to junior high, don't take it from anybody. Stay confident, stay true to yourself, and stay tiny but mighty because everybody needs that mighty personality in their life, even if it's coming from a small body. And I can firsthand say my mom has a small body too, but she's one of the only women that I'm scared of in my life. So with that being said, Isabella, keep being strong and thank you for being you. I can't wait to watch what you're going to do. My next name is going to be Dakira Townsend. Dakira Townsend, or otherwise, my future fashion designer. Totally what I completely put you doing is designing bright, colorful, beautiful things to empower women because that's the type of girl that you are. And trust me, I've seen your leadership too. I mean, whenever I'm not able to do it, somehow you're able to hold down Tion, Jamas, and Jaden. And quite honestly, that's a combination to keep in line. So Dakira, if you can't empower just yourself, do it with all the other people around you. Because if you have to keep anyone else in line, I know the girl that I want to call. And that's going to be you. So my advice to Kyra is to keep, keep doing your thing because you have a strong personality and you can keep just about anyone in line. And trust me, if you can keep Tian and Jamas in line, you can pretty much do anything. And especially with you being as empowering of a woman as what you're going to be. I would trust you completely. So thanks for being awesome to Kyra. My next person I will talk about 
is going to be Lex Peterman. Lex, or should I say, Speed Demon. You know, I always made you move in the quickest motion possible. I can truthfully say that you would do anything that I ask you to do. Just like last week when I asked you to go lay down on the court at the sportsplex. And you did it. Not because I really wanted you to that bad, but because I feel like you trusted me enough to let you know it was going to be okay if you did it. So thanks for that, Lex. My advice for you whenever you go over to junior high is don't ask too many questions. Which I know you love asking questions, and I get it. But don't let them overly bombard you. So Lex, you keep showing up reading books own a library, go be a Jedi, go do those amazing things that Lex Peterman can do. And whatever you do, do it quick. So thank you, Lex, for being great. My next question or student that I'm going to talk about will be Lily Madlock. <coughs> Lily, despite you having to jump on the Chromebook cart or forgetting your homework on multiple occasions, not just in my class, but your other teachers. You are a pretty good student. You could write like nobody out of this world, and truthfully, you had a really good reading skill too, but you just gotta put that to use. So Lil, my advice to you is whenever you get over to the junior high, make sure to apply yourself, bring your homework back, keep yourself on your good side with your teachers. And as long as you're not touching somebody else's stuff, you should be in the clear. Um, I think that's about all I have to tell you, Lily. So with that, that should make you successful in the long run. I don't want to have to hear about you in the future randomly taking something off of someone else's desk or taking their things or jumping on their cart or anything random. So, Lil, keep up that, like, personality that you have that is still fun yet random out of this world. My next student I get to talk about is going to be Jamas Daniels. Jamas, you are somebody that I could write a book about. However, I'm just going to keep it down to about five sentences at tops. What I want to say about you is despite you getting on not only my nerves, but every other classmate's nerves, you had a likable personality. It's just you chose not to use your likableness, and you knew it. As long as you're staying away from Tion or some of your other classmates and not picking on other girls in the class, I think you'll be okay. And truthfully, I think that you could do a lot of things, Jamas, but you just got to keep your head on straight and keep moving forward. You've not only made me insane, but you've kept me sane at the same time, too. I learned a lot from my experience of having you in class, and believe it or not, I'm telling you thank you for that. So with that, Jamas, do what you can at junior high, and I look forward to catching some football games in the future. My next student I get to talk about is going to be Simona Sparza. Simone, I don't know how much easier I can make this than if I ever heard the stitch voice or a random voice or a high pitch voiced, somebody trying to disguise their voice. I always knew that it was you. So my advice to you is maybe if you want to disguise yourself, let's go with something other than the voice change. Let's make it maybe a physical disguise. So my thing with you, Simone, is that I have enjoyed you throughout the year, not only on behalf of your knowledge, but on behalf of you being so easy to get along with and everybody enjoying having you in class. So with that, Simone, take that likable character trait and go rock out junior high, even if it means you going in there with a nice haircut rather than you having one long strand of hair right down the middle of your back. Your haircut looks amazing, and I know you'll do well over there. The next person I get the chance to talk about is going to be Caroline Ogles. Caroline, I think I said it best in my student of the month speech whenever I said that you were sweet Caroline. You have not only invested in all of your classmates and become a friend to everybody, but you've become a friend to me as well. I have totally enjoyed getting to talk with you and bond with you about anything happening in your life and anything happening in my life. It builds a trusting personality with anyone that you're dealing with. So take that character trait to junior high and continue using it to your advantage. I look forward about hearing you not only being co-captain on the cheerleading team, but taking over as a, in a leadership role as you go throughout your classes. I'm looking forward to hearing about the ball games or anything else you have going on in your life. And I truly do have a friend in you, Caroline. So thank you for not only being my student, but building a friendship right there along the way. 
the next student that I get to talk about, Maya Jackson. Maya, the reason that I chose the camera shutter for you is because whenever you're walking that red carpet and you've decided to become a movie star, I expect to hear those same camera shutters, not from regular cameras, but from those big professional cameras, because I'm hoping that you continue to chase your dream also. So Maya, another way that you surprised me was that one, I had to figure out from Infinite Campus that you were a twin. So thanks for throwing that surprise with me. And two, because you and your twin are completely opposites as far as your personalities. So I was so thankful that I got to know both of you in a very personal way. I think it's a great thing. So my advice to you, Maya, is continue being that rock star person. And sometimes, I'll be honest, it takes a rock star to deal with people like Tion and Jamas and Jayden. So with that, go ahead, Maya, and rock out the world, be a movie star, walk the red carpet, and continue being an empowerful girl. My next person is going to be Tyson Kinder. Tyson Kinder. Boy, have we had a ride, man. I mean, let's start with this. I mean, we get to bond over knowing our grandpas and having a close relationship with our grandpas. We've got to bond about dogs because we both love our dogs. We've got to bond about going to the lake because we equally like, equally like going to the lake. However, some days when I'm having to say, Tyson, I promise this makes sense. Just let it register for a second. You finally figured it out. You're a lot smarter than what you come off sometimes. You're an AB student, and I expect that same thing whenever you go over to the junior high and you take on a new sport. So with that, Tyson, I hope that everything makes sense to you at junior high and that you continue to be a good student. Well, on most days, a good student. Thanks for being awesome. All right, moving on to our next student, and that's going to be Mayana Martin. Mayana, most likely to become a softball superstar. I'm looking forward to catching some games, as long as you'll send me that schedule. You've not only been a leader in my class, but you've also kind of laid low. And I always appreciate people like that, that do their thing, lay low sometimes, but then have this outgoing, outstanding personality other times. Whenever you have different types of personalities and you can give off different vibes like that, it makes you a really good person and you have a really good trait like that. So take that over to the junior high with you. My advice to you, Mayana, is you do you. You've done a phenomenal job with me and with your other two teachers. I look forward not only seeing you in sports, but hopefully excelling, excelling academically and um, in athletics. So congratulations, Mayana. Thank you for being a fabulous student. I can't wait to watch what you do. Malia Criddle. Malia, I had to put the heartbeat behind your name because you're supposed to be my doctor in the future. And with you becoming a doctor, I know that you're going to hear a lot of heartbeats. So just keep that in mind. Malia, you have been that spitfire personality since day one. Emphasis on the fire part of that. You haven't let up one bit. And all I'm needing you to do is control that spitfire personality whenever you get over to the junior high. I've also got to have good, have had to have good conversations with you and bad conversations equally as much. Please, in the nicest way possible, do be very nice to all your classmates, do your work, and don't concern yourself about other people. I mean, aren't you supposed to become a YouTube sensation with Marve anyways? Keep that in mind. Thanks for being awesome, Malia. My next student I get the privilege to talk about is going to be... Tion Carter. Tion, whenever you started out the school year, I got this yes ma'am, no ma'am, completely respectful student, would go the extra mile, did the right thing when nobody was watching, and then quarantine happened. And then you came back from quarantine. And when you came back from quarantine, I met a whole new student. So Tion, that kid turned into somebody that always had to use Germex, that had to be using someone else's Chromebook, that had to interrupt me in the middle of talking, and that had to pester Jamas or one of the girls that was around him at any time. However, Tion, even with all that being said, you still gave me a laugh even on some bad days. And I know for a fact that you stalk some of my pages, so just be mindful of that and worry about yourself on those good days. 
So Tion, take your personality, take your athleticism, take it to the junior high, and catch up with me later. So thank you, Tion, for being a fun student. The next student I get the chance to talk about is going to be Jaden Hill. Jaden, I know that I told you this in circles already, but my absolute favorite thing about you was when you showed up to school. It was really hard for me to get to know a student that was only here 60% of the time when most of your classmates were here 90% or more. But Jaden, I know that you're a bit of an athlete and I know that you're a participator in class when you wanna be. So you have qualities that are likable and those are the qualities that you need to excel at. So with that being said, don't go over to the junior high and just expect for all this work to disappear because they are going to bombard you with work and you're going to have to make it up. So I promise you, it's just that much easier as long as you are willing to show up and do the work. I want to do a ton of cool things with you and I want to hear a ton of cool things that happen when you go to junior high. So please stay in touch whenever you decide to go on. So thanks, Jaden, for being awesome. The next student I'm going to be talking about is Lila Pattengill. Lila, another one of my softball players and also my first student of the month. How could I even say thank you enough for demonstrating the responsibility, respectfully behaving, and inspiring your classmates as much as what you have done thus far, even if it meant going to coding club for four weeks just because you filled out the form backwards. I'll probably remember that forever, and I will let you know in the event that I have somebody else fill it out like you. So, Lila, thanks for bringing me a little bit of laughter and you making such a good friendship with Caroline and Ashton that I get to smile at every single day. You've been outstanding for me, and I know that you'll be outstanding for the rest of your teachers that you have the rest of your school career. So thanks, Lila, again, for being absolutely phenomenal. If I could, I'd take 1,000 Lilas again. So... I hope to see you on the softball field. The next person I get to talk about is our star rapper, Marve Fennell. Marve, I'll be honest. I don't really know what to say. Besides, many times you've made my day. While I'm at the screen trying to educate, you are in the middle of trying to celebrate, such as, let's go! How do I forget something like that when all I can think of is a rapper that wears a hat? It's all up to you, Marve, just to make everyone else's day, especially whenever you go over to the junior high. So, yes, I know I'm not a rapper and I don't know how to rhyme, but I'm thankful that you're watching me and giving me this time. I hope that this school year has been great, as I know you've had a ton of crushes on some of your classmates. Or should I say students? I don't know, Marve. But thank you for being great. I look forward to seeing you in the future. And Marve, thanks again. My next student is going to be Ashton Williams. Ashton, you are one that had that super quiet personality too. That is, until I got to watch those PBS rap videos and I saw that you were a total performer. And it even confirmed my thoughts whenever you and Kinley got to perform in front of our whole team. You have that performer inside of you and it completely shines through. So my advice to you, Ashton, is whenever you are out on that cheer court or cheer field, whatever you call it, go out there and rock it because you have the personality to rock that stuff. So again, thanks Ashton for being a phenomenal student. I've completely enjoyed you and I'm so glad that I got to see that exciting side of your personality. You are intelligent, you are a beautiful human, and I hope that you continue to excel as you go on to your next endeavors. So again, Ashton, thanks for being amazing. My next student is going to be Jalea Geiger. Jalea, the only downfall that I had with you is that I only got the privilege of having you for two quarters. Yes, we did get to spend some time together with the semester that we had, but it wasn't the same impact of you getting to be in the dynamic with the rest of our class. So, Jalea, my advice to you is no matter what dynamic you get thrown into, just roll with it and find people that you can roll with because you managed to do that in my class, so I can totally see you doing it whenever you get out into the real world and even over to junior high. So again, Jalea, thanks for being awesome and thanks for being the great addition to our class that we truly needed. Also, I'll never forget hearing just a random baby voice around my classroom because 
I had to have known it was you. You were the only one that could talk in that high pitch of a voice. So maybe change that about junior high just for the maturity purposes. Otherwise, thanks for being great. The next person I get the chance to talk about is going to be Layla White. Layla, let me start off first by just confirming, and I'm sure you know this, I love the name Layla Rose. So beautiful. Second of all, despite you not liking to wear girly girl clothes, you do look nice in them. So if you do ever decide that you want to wear those bright colors or even light colors again, you look nice in doing so. So don't let anybody shoot that idea down for you. Third, Layla, you've been a phenomenal student for me, and I've been so thankful to have you as a great reading student. Don't let anybody shoot you down and tell you that you're not good at what you're doing because you have what it takes. You just need to be that leader that I'm looking for. So good job with that too. And finally, Layla, some of your stories that you would share in circles were some of my favorites to hear about. So please know that I'm thankful that you felt comfortable enough to open up in our circles and tell your classmates and myself about your life experiences. You have to be brave to get through some of the things that you've went through. So again, thank you, Layla. Continue being that brave student. And my last and final name that I get to talk about is Kaylin Neiman. Kaylin, my animal lover, it should be obvious as to why I put the dogs barking behind your name. You are going to be that dog trainer, dog lover, animal lover that everyone needs. Totally a good human characteristic to have is to be able to not only take care of humans, but be able to take care of pets as well. So if you plan to pursue a degree in that, go for it because I think you'll do phenomenal with it. You've also done really well as a student in my class, and I'm sure your other two teachers would agree with you as well. My advice to you in junior high is to show up. You're a great student, and I'd like to get to know you more, but it's really tough whenever you're not always here. So, Kaylin, thanks for being you, and thank you for bringing a fun dynamic to our class. Now that I've went through all the names, I can tell you guys something about this. All of this was off the top of my head. None of it took a second or third take at all. Everything I've said has come from my heart, and I truly mean everything that I say, and I say what I mean. So, with that, thank you again for being a great class. What I'm going to show you here at the end is going to be some pictures and some quotes of things that people have either said or done over the course of this year that kind of sum up how our time together has went. I can't say thank you enough for bringing a different experience to my life like what you guys have brought to me. It's been one heck of a ride, and it's not even close to being over for you guys. Next year, I'm going to get a new group of students, and it's going to be hard to match the group that I've had this year. We've built multiple connections. We've built... um, multiple physical things together, like jelly bean towers and paper towers. Uh, We've had some arguments in our class, but we've had more good times than any bad time. And I can't say that I would have chosen a different group of kids to be my first class with this district. So again, thank you so much. I'm going to sign over here and I'll show you those pictures and videos. So goodbye.